Now I'm sure you're probably wondering why would Kujo Forex, a millionaire trader, say he got broke while trying to build a house? But at the end of this video, you're going to really understand what it takes to truly raise a magnificent building like mine. Now you may have known about my background as an accountant and then, you know, a strong finance background from the University of Ghana Business School. So because of that, anything that I want to really embark on, I make sure that I get the maths right, right? So in terms of getting into my real estate business, which is like the new venture that I'm really looking into, which is diversifying all capital cash that I make from the Forex market straight into the real estate market i registered a very viable business which is the swift development company so swift development is the fastest growing real estate development company owned and managed by Kojo forex now before i bore you with so much long term this video's purpose is basically to run anybody who may be interested or perhaps any youth who's like probably trading now making some money and thinking that in the near future they're going to really go into the real estate business or even if not for business purpose they may want to raise their own structure in terms of building their own structure from scratch then this video is going to be very important to you very valuable for you and you really want to watch it from the beginning to the end and at the end of this video you will understand the whole scope and nature of the real estate business and then building a structure in Ghana. Life on its own is built on progress so as far as I am progressing then I'm always looking and seeking for higher and bigger things right so you guys know that I already have my home three bedroom house that I live with my wife alone and in fact we have two empty rooms that you know nobody's occupying so with that in mind you should know that if I'm urging for bigger things I'll be looking for humongous things that it has my shoulders may even not necessarily be so strong to carry us at now so with that in my one of my primary goals for 2022 was to have a structure of my own and then I sent against the real estate business that was when I knew that I was not even well prepared enough like I thought I was because you know what getting into the real estate business involves so much money in fact involves so much cash that I ever anticipated apart from the cash requirement aspect of it you have to be extremely smart in fact when I say smart all I mean is you really have to have your eyes and ears on the ground otherwise before you know it somebody may also build their own house out of your own hassle of building your house in the process if you understand what i mean so one rule of thumb about real estate is that one thing is very important location so you hear everyone making the point about the fact that if you really want to get into the real estate business then one of the key factors that you have to really consider is making sure you choose the right location if you intend to sell the property or even if you really want to live in that property you don't really want to live in a property that that is so far off from the main cities so because of this there are so many people that struggle to get litigation free land which is land without any issues or people deliberating or fighting over it in court right in the middle of the city apart from that it is also extremely priced so first thing that you really want to give focus to when you're talking about real estate development is that you're looking forward to your land acquisition and then when land acquisition the first thing that you really want to take particular notice of is the indenture of the land so you really want to ask that is the land certificate is the land documents genuine are they really come from the right owner so the indenture is more like a contract between the custodians of the land which is the chiefs and then you the owner so you really want to watch and then make sure that the indenture is really come from the custodian Custodians. custodians here are the chiefs of the land so in Ghana or West Africa we are sort of believe or it's, it's part of our cultural dynamism that the chiefs or the kings of the localities own the land so if you want to get a land it must start from the custodians which as the chiefs they must pass it on to you as an independent owner usually it's in a contractual term sometimes in a span of a hundred years or a 50 years lease formerly it was a hundred years but now it's a 50 years lease where you can own it and then after that 50 years lease it's more like come back into their favor something like that more towards a contractual form but let's say you're done with all this the next thing you really want to go on to is the site plan and land certification land certification in ghana can be a very tedious process it can take you from anywhere between three months and six months to actually get your land title certification right so site plan is a very important part of the process as well because site plan actually is what you're going to use to register for what we call building permits so building permit allows you the right to actually raise the structure the building permit come from the municipal assembly in which your land is situated so they have to check through their whole town planning and maps to make sure that your land is not situated in the road or in a waterway or anything like that so they have like a whole national geographical plan in which it is controlled by the municipal assembly and they watch all these details so one thing to really get you ahead of the game is that anytime anybody really want to sell you a land what you want to do is that you first get access of the indenture or the site plan and then with the site plan first thing you want to also do is that go to the municipal assembly and make sure that they check if the land you are trying to acquire is situated in a proper location not necessarily in a waterway or in a road blockade because some people are very dubious and may trick you into just getting your money after all these things are sorted you go on to the architect so the architect brings your dreams into reality so the architect is going to walk through with you into bringing your vision the things that you think about into reality in terms of what you want your building to look like and then if it's going to really fit on the site plan that you have provided on a piece of land that you're looking to acquire right so once you get in touch with a very qualified architect they're going to see your vision your plan if they have samples they can show you what they have and then if you like it then they go into 
into details with you in planning the whole structure and position of the land or the building on the land then you can have a go ahead with putting up your structures so these are the few preliminary stages that i went through in acquiring lands and then all the necessary documents to start my real estate company and it cost me a whole bunch of money because i really wanted to start and raise my real estate structures in the middle of the city so they cost me a lot of money hundreds of thousands of cities to acquire a piece of land in the capital city and to make this video more enjoyable and realistic i'm going to be inserting more of the payment receipts and stuff like that so that i got you along and give you the realistic expectation if in the future you want to go on the same trail or it kind of becomes like a roadmap to you if you're looking to start something like that in the future as well so being that i had gone through all this and the real process began which is just starting the whole process all together so i personally got in touch with a few friends who had been in the business of development for a long time and then i asked them to really make a proper estimation for me in terms of how much is really going to cost me when i'm supposed to start building this structure from scratch to finishing and that's why i knew that so much goes into building and then in fact we take so many things for granted because the moment you purchase a house or you rent an apartment you don't really know what really goes into a building you don't really look around your house and in terms of really understanding that anything that you see around you was some way somehow paid for by the person who rules that structure so what i'm going to do to make this video very interesting is that i'm going to really run it through everything that i've been doing from step by step up to the point that we've got to in our building and then you're going to understand the cost that have gone involved and then how much we've spent so far perhaps you know and then it kind of gives you the perspective in terms of what to expect if you want to start yours as well now because my company's name is swift development what it means is that if it must be done it must be done well and fast in fact i really believe that for anybody to really get into the construction space and then do things fast the only thing that can be a constraint to their process is finance right when they don't have the right amount of cash available to start a project then that's where their project becomes prolonged it could take them six months one year and stuff like that so for me coming in prepared with my finance background and uh, totally estimating that this is what is going to perhaps be required to raise a structure i kind of understood that what may be the necessarily minimum time required to raise a structure and i understood that for the most part for a building like my architectural plan it could take anywhere between three months to five months to complete this building so that out of the way then the building started which is like basically the foundation process so the foundation cost me anywhere between two hundred thousand ghana cities remember that this structure is a five bedroom house with a swimming pool with a gaming room with a library with two kitchen and two halls so i kind of listed all the things that we've been doing so far and then we have some of them here so we actually done the raising of the structure all the way to the roofing level right which cost us anywhere between 400,000 to 500,000 ghana cities so after raising the whole structure which kind of gives you the whole picture of how the building is going to look like then the next thing we did was putting a roof on top of it because obviously we don't want to be living in a house that is roofless right <laughs> then you want to do your electrical piping next right so electrical works got to run through a pipe so before they do what we call screening which is like covering the electrical pipe and we have to first pass them through the necessary places that you want to have lights and then we go on to the next step which is the screening so while electrical piping is going on plumbing can also actually be going on and then you have the screening covering both the electrical pipings and then the plumbing pipings as well and then after structure has been raised burglar proof installed and roofing installed then you can understand that now you have the building really standing out on its own then we can go into the few details which is the things that makes the building extra entertaining and beautiful as well such as the swimming pool right so there you can now give some attention to construction of the swimming pool if it's internal in the building or external outside the building but for our plan our swimming pool is more of a very unique one which is like semi-internal right so somehow outside the house somehow inside the house i'll show you the video then you're gonna see how it is so in terms of our structural plan and architectural plan our swimming pool happens to be beneath the master bedroom which is going to be enclosed in a glass area so it's a very beautiful scene that you can feel safe and then swim when there's rain swim when there's hot sun and everything like that so it's a very unique concept that we have introduced so while at the swimming pool construction we have the fence wall also ongoing and we've kind of built a humongous wall that kind of covers and brings so much safety to the house as well your wall is two times your height <laughs> Then subsequent to what we've also been doing is fixing internal doors and security doors. So we fixed already the security doors, which cost a lot of money, well over 100,000. Internal doors also costing about 50,000 Ghana cities alone. So it tells you how things are getting extremely and crazily expensive in this nation, especially you have so much taste for high quality goods and services. I miss all this and you know that you'll be approaching Thailand. And before you can actually get your hands well on Thailand, then you have to fix your POP. So we sent our POP designs out to the POP installers and then they are working on it while they're about to just start working on the Thailand as well and pop cost us anywhere around seventy thousand cities and then thailand is also costing us anywhere around two hundred fifty thousand ghana cities now the final bit of it revolves around the painting and the compound work so the painting is also costing anywhere around hundred thousand because we are using high quality paint which is going to really last long in any weather condition and then the compound works has a little bit of aesthetic feeling to it so we are going really down to the plan and then making sure that we have all options available to us to choose exactly the one that best fits the design and model of the house now all that i've run into remember that furnishing of the house has not even come into play at 
at all. So if you really want to talk about furnishing of a house up to the state of the art standard, you should also know that you're going to spend anywhere between 500,000 and 1 million for the kind of structure that we actually put out there. So all in all, you kind of understand and have a slight or a glimpse understanding of the cost that has really been involved for the past three to four months that have been actively involved in raising this structure. And that's how come the title of this video is when I went broke trying to build a house. Nonetheless, you know that as a trader, anytime you go broke, what do you do? You go back to the source and then the source being what they're marking and make so much more money and then continue the same process, right? So don't get it twisted. I'm not actually broke, literally. <laughs> so I hope this video was very entertaining and very educative. If you really like this content, smash the like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it already and follow me on all social media at KOJOFRES. Click on the link in the description to join the Kojo Forest Telegram community and then follow me on all social media at KOJOFRES. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.